Hello everyone. In this session, we'll see about creation of a LSMW project using direct input method for the object creation of material master. So the steps will be before creating the LSMW. First, we'll create a transition. We'll process the transition code using MM01. We have to note down all the fields with their technical name, uh, technical name and length. Then after that, we'll create the LSMW in first development server. Then after testing, we'll move this to PRD server. So first, we'll create a metal with MM01. Go to T code. MM01 select industry type I am selecting here as A that is plant engineering oblique construction second material type I am selecting as ROH I am processing only basic data 1 based on your requirement we have to select the specific views I am going with only basic data 1 I am entering here flat number A1101 a unit of measure will be F2 that is square feet and the material group I am entering as flat I am entering only 1, 2, 3 fields press enter and save so this is my material created ID is 518 so what we all have entered first is industry sector what is the field name for industry sector how to find out the field name and the technical attribute like length and all so on that field press F1 click on technical information here you can see the data element is MVRSH okay double click here so you can see this of type care and the length 1 copy this field in excel file type C and length is one. This is industry sector. Second field which I enter on the screen was the raw material, material type. Again press F1. So my second field is MTART. Double click here. This is again character field of length 4. Copy the field name, note down again in Excel file, length is 4, here it is, material type, go for the next one, so my created material is 518, I will go to MM03, open the same material code, then I enter the material description which is of length 40 click on technical information and make ATX do a click here if you already work on metal master you might know all the tables so no, no need to go inside but I am uh, showing from a very basic level so that even a functional consultant or a new fresh air vapor can also do this is of care 40 as material text next I enter is the base unit of measure press F1 click on technical name do a click on the field name this is of again character and the unit tree copy this go back See, the length is 3 that is unit of measure close this the last one is the metal group that I enter as flat the field name is matical and the length is 9 copy this field name go back to excel Field name is medical character design name as material group. Now we done with the first part that is creation of material master. 
then we have note down all the fields which we want to maintain with this technical attribute. Now we will create a LSMW project. So T code for LSMW is LSMW only. Here give the project name as MM that is metal management. I am creating as master data and here material direct input. No project exits. Click on create account. Give meaningful description that is material management. Second is master data. Third is material using direct input method. Once this created, click on execute. You can see there are around 16 to 17 steps, but we need to process 14 steps. Select the first one that is maintain object attributes. Click on execute. Here there are four methods. So we are doing with the first method that is direct input. In the object list, click on F4 help. There are multiple objects are given long text, GL account, metal master, metal bomb, etc. So we are going with the metal master. In the method, again click on F4. So only one method, it is directly assigned. And this is the program name. Click on save. Go back. Maintain source structure. Here we have to give the structure ID. The two and three, just like we are creating a structure in SC11. So first we give the name and then we add the fields. So similar way, for first create a structure. Z mm01 str. Let's say material master. So go back, maintain source field. In the source field, we have to maintain all the fields which we want to pass to the system for creating the master data. So there are multiple ways for maintaining source field. As first we already copy the details. Click on execute. Select a structure. The first option is we can click on copy fields. We can copy for upload from text file, copy from other objects or from the database table. Here if we give the table name Mara, so we can see all the fields of that table. But as we want to upload very few, uh, very few fields, so there is no option to copy the selected field. So all the fields will come. So we will not go with this option. Just go back, don't save. Come again. So this was the first method. Second is creating one by one. Let's like select in the field a structure and click on create icon. So here we get the field name, description, character type and the length. Here also we have to create one by one. The second option. Third is the table maintenance. This generally commonly we use. Click here. Now we already have our field name here. Copy. Just paste here. So you can see industry sector. Metal type, metal text, unit of measure and the metal group. Save. Go back. Save. Maintain structure relations. Execute. So here we can see multiple structures are there. Based on the standard object which you have selected, there are multiple structures available. If you want to see the field details, just double click. Double click here. So we can see the structures, we have field name, which are there in that structure BM00, T code, MATNAR, industry sector, material type, etc. etc. Okay, first let me delete, I will explain again. Okay, so similarly we can check all the fields of this structure, like for the country code data, for the forecasting, for the consumption. So based on the views which we have selected in the MM01, like here I selected only the basic data view. I selected only basic data view. So based on the views which we have selected, accordingly we have to fill the structure. Okay, so here 
I will require only the first two, the BRJ00 and the BM00. So how to assign the structure? Click on this field, a structure, and click on relationship. As we have only one structure, so it is automatically assigned. Second option, just double click here. So that is structure get assigned. Okay, so I'm not uh, using any other structure. Okay, this is mandatory. Do click here, click on save. Now go back. Maintain field mapping and conversion tools. Execute. So here, what we have to do? These all fields are from the object list, and the fields which we have created that are present in the source field. So we have to map the fields. Okay, so T code will be constant. So select on T code, click on rule, select constant value. Press enter. So which T code you want to call? MM01. This will be constant. Second is the MACNAR, which will automatically get created. Third is the industry sector. We uh, will get this from the field. Uh, click on source field. MBRS is the source field for that. Now we can do like this one by one. Or second option is that if our field names are same, just go to extras. Here, auto fill mapping. If our fill ma uh, fill names are same in the source fill and in target fill, system will give up the pop up with a proposal. Click on auto fill. Don't do any change here. Just press enter. So we can say we can see here system is suggesting for the target field MTART of the structure BM00 in our source field. This field called MTART. Click accept proposal. Okay, similarly for the unit of measure and for the MAKTX. And the last one is the metal group. Okay, so here we have seen there are two options either we can select the field and assign to the sales field, or field names are same in the source and target. Then just go to extras and do the auto field mapping. Okay, so we have seen both the method in this. So go back this will see in the later stage how to use the fixed value translation resulting no need of doing it this time a specific file okay so first we have to create a file copy this use transfers so our industry sector was a let me confirm again Industry sector is A and the metal type is ROH. Okay, so I will maintain same value here. ROH. My description will be let's say flag A1102. My unit of measure is same that is FT2 and metal group is flat. Similarly, I will add one more. Let's say flat A1103. FT2 and the metal group flag. Now we have to copy without field name only data into a text file. Control C. Load down data in a text file. This will be text file with tab demilitated. Close this. Select a specific files and click on execute. Here on the legacy data, double click, select the source file. I have my file name with the same name, that is source. Give the description text file for material master. Here, the file contains data for one source file or multiple. So, we are using only single file. We will keep this as it is. Here, how the fields are separated, like no separator, tabulator, semicolon, comma, etc. So I have selected tabulator format. File structure, whether the field names are there at the start of the point, first row, or the field name matches the source structure definition. So we are maintaining this as per the definition of the structure. 
will go with this one only. Press enter. Click on save button. Go back. Assign file. So here, as it is only single file, the by default it gets assigned to the structure. So no need to do anything. Just save. Go back. The read data. When you do read data, it reads the source file which we authorized. So as a, there are two records, so we can see number of records of two. Display read data. Execute. This will display data which is read from the text file. If you want to see in a proper format, just click here. So we can see our structure and the value from the text file. Go back. Next is convert data. Now, this display read data is as well text file. Now here in this step, system converts the text file into the SAP format. So in convert data, execute. You can see here also two records are captured. Go back. Display converted data, execute. Press enter. This is converted data as per the SAP format. Click here. So we can see the as per the structure of SAP format as we are given MM01 as constant. So we can see that value also here. Okay, go back. Now start direct input program. Click execute. Program RMDA TIND press enter. Select the radio button using physical file name which we have given. Now here if you see there is a checkbox like check data but do not update. If before updating to database, if you want to simulate, this is just like a simulation. Okay, if you want to simulate, select this checkbox. Lock mode that is by default E is when we are working on this metal codes the other user cannot access the same. So first we will do the simulation. Check data but do not update. Click on execute. You are working online. No result possible. No issue. Go ahead. Press enter. Press enter. There is no errors and the transaction two are completed. Press enter. So here we can see only the warning messages are there. Okay, there is no error message. Means our file and our config design is properly created. So here if you see the metal number. Okay, because it is in the simulation mode. That's why it is given as test mode. The actual number is not generated. Okay, now again go back. What we'll do? We'll remove the checkbox now. Okay, again execute. Press enter, press enter. Again, two transaction process with zero errors. Press enter. Now we can see the system has given the metal number. The metal ID is 519 and metal ID 520 is created successfully. Now go and uh, check in the MM03. First one is the A1101. The number was 518. After that, two records we have created with LSMW. First check 519. You can see here 519. The metal created is A1102 FT2 flat, which we have given in the source file. Click the second one 520. So here also we can see the second record A1103 with FT2 and flat is created. So in this way, we have successfully done with the session on creation of LSMW with direct implemented for the Metal Master. So in the next session, what we'll do? This we have done in the development server. So I will show you how to transfer the LSMW with the export concept from development to PRD that we'll see in the next session. Thank you.